there's something that runs, runs, runs in circle until you press something, until you activate something, until you interact. When you interact, it will detect that and respond. The loop in our game is implicit. It exists outside the event sheet. It's the, it encompasses the event sheet. And everything in your event sheet is run in the order of the event sheet. I will show you. And in, at the same time, I will show you what I will use in case of debug. So I will place a text box. You don't see exactly uh, what it is, but uh, it's the equivalent of uh, any uh, uh, any field where you can write things on, on the inter internet. It's the equivalent of uh, uh, tuk tuk tuk, edit class detail. It's this kind of object. But to enable that, I have to set the text area mode. Else, I can only write one line. For te uh, if I use text area, it will go on many lines. For you to see um, what is written correctly, I will disable the auto font size. So for now, we have a basic text object. We can write. Uh, we can. Uh, we will be able to write things through the event sheet in it. And. I use the text object uh, to show you, I will use it to show you how the event works in the basic way. We have a start of layout. A start of layout is run only once when the layout, as it said, when the layout starts. So I will uh, write something on the, the text box, set text to start it. If I run this layout, it's right started. Now let's say another uh, condition. Uh, yes, uh, I think um, Kiat uh, covered that in his video. But just to remind you, this whole thing is an event. This part here is a condition. And this part here is an action. So here, let's see if I put the condition system every every tick. If I put system every tick and I write something in it, what will happen? What will happen? Well. You'll see, but uh, what do you think will happen? For now, it will happen something. Started has disappeared. It's It has been replaced by something because it's run. On start of layout is run. It will write started, and then every tick is run. It will write something, it will write something, and it will write something. It's run every tick and write something. Now, if I tell the uh, construct to write the text of the text box plus something, which is written like that, with this uh, operator that concatenates the two string, you will see something very different a big fluid because that's the difference between this kind of event and this kind of event this one is run every tick the other thing you have to be uh, careful with is the order of events if I write something and then I write something else that's the something else that will happen. So be careful about the order. Now we will go back to our um, how to die. 
to die, you have to be here. In the whole game, if you are underneath the layout, you die. And what is what uh, is the I am underneath the layout? What how we can say this in an event? It will be a condition since it's if I'm underneath under the layout, I de I'm dead. So to do such uh, event, you have to know the position of the player. You have to know where it is, and to do that, you go to the player object, and you can, if you uh, look at all the possibilities you have, you can see size and position and compare y. Compare y will allow you to compare where is the object vertically, and to compare to a number. Now which number? Our layout is uh, we set it to 800 by 600, if I remember. So the the idea is if I'm greater than 600, I should be outside the layout, so I should be dead. Greater 600. Let's see if you can see it here. If I put the player here, it's at position 608 because it's uh, this uh, origin that counts. And uh, it means if you're here, you're dead. And you want something more like this. If you're here, you're dead. If you uh, if you go past the layout, so you have to add the a the height of the of the objects. So if our y position is greater than six hundred and the height, so you do this like that plus plus the player's height. Which is, which is, where are you, player height? Here, done, then you're dead. To say you're dead, I will just write it in the text box for now. Set text, dead. Now let's see, I will launch. Oh, I'm already dead. That's because I'm already outside the layout. Okay, I will. I will uh, attempt suicide and I'm dead. Okay, so we know how to die. That wasn't too hard. Now you may have noticed something that is uh, a pain. If we want to see this text to uh, debug our game, we want to see it whenever we are on the game. And if we go too far, we can't see it. To do that, to be able to uh, have something that isn't influenced by the, the scrolling, you have to use another layer. So we'll create another layer by clicking on the plus sign. Here we'll rename this one main. That's how I name it usually. And the one we won't put any scrolling on, we will name it HUD or HUD. And to, uh, if I do that, uh, stuff you have to keep in mind. For now, nothing has changed at all. I still have my uh, text box, etc. First, I have to put my text box on the layer HUD. Uh, you can either do that by changing the property. I'll do that by dragging it on the on the layer. If I drag it here, it's on main. If I drag it on HUD, it's on HUD. HUD, main, main. Okay. So now we have. A but if I launch the game, it's still the same problem. We have to tell Construct2 to not scroll this layer. To do that, it's the parallax property. 
it's uh, it's percentage it's 100% uh, 100% in x and y it means if you scroll uh, when you scroll it will follow the scroll 100% if i put it to 50% it will follow the scroll horizontally just have the the speed of course for our hud we want a, s a parallax so yeah if you want to access you have to click on the layer first so we want this parallax to be at node 0 and then it will follow always All right. So we have our text following, and now we can die. Die. Okay. So we are dead. Now we want to. When uh, we die, we want to go back to uh, a given position. For now, we will we will uh, hard code this position. This position will be. Um, the starting position. Copy. So when we die, we want the player to go back. Player, set position. So here I'm on an action. When I was uh, doing the condition, I was in a condition panel. It's not exactly the same. There's no compare x, compare y here. You can set things, you can tell things where to go and what to do. So here I will set the X and Y to a specific position. So now, if I die, I should go back to the starting position. Go, 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 die and go back to the starting position. Okay, so we don't need that anymore for now because it's working and we know how to die. I will add a little commentary just to uh, remind me what this line does. Dying. To add a commentary in shortcut it's Q else you have to right click add comments. Okay, so if I'm outside the layout, I'm dead, and I'm respawning, so it's dying, and respawn. The other solution to respawn, and that's uh, the, maybe the easier way to do it, it's restart layout. I, I'm dead, I restart the layout. So I will be using this one. It's... Uh, easier to uh, to do on the yeah it's easier to do so for now you're outside the layout you're dead and the good thing about that is we can put the starting uh, position wherever we want and, and it will consider it uh, on restart that's cool okay so now we can die So now we can die. Um, any question? Just uh, nobody is lost yet. Simple, isn't it? Doesn't look too uh, too crazy. Um, what can we do now? We will try to resolve one little problem. Simple. Yes, so Leopold. Okay, take take on night still for me. It matters the layout when I create events. Uh, I don't understand the question, uh, Almeida. It matters the layout when. Oh, maybe. Uh, ah, the layer. No, no, the layer is. Um, Imagine you just want to group objects uh, together just